Hello, Art Ventures. Today we're going to create peanut butter and jelly. So peanut butter and jelly, this is a watercolor. So you're gonna need your watercolor paints. I have mine right here. You're going to need some water and a brush. But first we're going to draw this and they're very basic shapes. So this project has you really understanding um, the shapes of obviously the two pieces of bread. So it's simple, but um, it makes you really get those shapes down. So we're gonna get started. So again, what we need is a pencil with an eraser. You need a water cup, just with just maybe a little bit of water like this. And also need your watercolor set. The other thing you need, so we're doing it's basically watercolor and also crayons. So the parts that are sort of shaded here, I've gone over with crayons. I've even gone over the hand clap star with crayons. So again, you're going to need your watercolor set and crayons and a pencil with an eraser to draw and your water along with a brush. So we're going to get started. I'm gonna move this stuff over to the side and we're gonna start drawing PB and J, peanut butter and jelly. Okay, so You want to start at the left side of your paper and you want to make sure that you really go over to the left so that there's enough room especially because the bread is the bread slice is curved so we're going to start about right here so top of your paper here's the left corner here make sure you can see this and then you're going to go down and you're going to make your shape. So your bread is kind of curved and then it goes down and your slice is curved again and then the bottom is curved too. And what you can do, if it's easier, you don't have to add the curves here first. You can sort of make a square, but I like to make all of that in there. And then if you need to go back and touch it up, you do that. So once I have that, I'm now going to make your three dimensional, right? So on the sides here, we make it so our bread has another side and I forgot to mention you want to draw lightly that way when you color it in with watercolor the lines don't show as much we're gonna be going over the lines with crayon anyway but you want to try and do it as lightly as possible just enough so that you can see it so now what I'm doing is just cleaning up, cleaning up my lines. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to do the first uh, shape and I'm going to do his hand because I want to make sure there's enough room for peanut butter's hand over here. So that they can meet in the middle. So see how I just did that shape? He's got a really basic shape for his. 
and then I'm, I'm going to pop over here and draw the other one too. So as you notice, this shape is more like a tube. And I have to erase the line that I drew before, but look how it looks like his arm is coming right out of that piece of bread. I'm going to make his arm a little longer here. Just a little. Very basic shapes. Right? And that's how we always do drawings, very basic shapes. Even here. So his hand. I'm going to make it look like a mitten first. And then you can go back and add his fingers. That a little. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to make jelly or peanut butter. I'm sorry, this is jelly. This is peanut butter. And we want to make sure that there's enough room for his or her hand to meet up with jellies. So I'm just going to look in between. How we do that is we look in between the space, right? So there's a little bit of space there. And that's how we sort of know. Let's start our other piece of bread right here. So this one's going to curve out. Now I'm going to go a little bit closer because I'm realizing I'm getting close to the edge of my paper. And that's something you want to try to avoid as much as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna go a little bit closer here with my bread. I think that's better anyway, yeah. And we've got the top of the bread here. All right, top of the bread slice, we're going around. Yeah, that's much better. Curve, and then the bread comes out. Sort of flat at the bottom. Just cleaning up my lines now. And now we're gonna make him look three-dimensional, right? This is the side of the bread. And just, you wanna clean up your lines, make sure it looks how you want it to look. And now we're going to start with his arm that reaches here. So his arm curves and you want to make sure that it meets the this friend jelly here. So yeah, we're in good shape. If it doesn't meet, you can just adjust it. So that's also a good reason to draw lighter. Okay. And now I'm gonna come over here, do the same thing, make this one look a little more three-dimensional, like a tube. And I'm just cleaning up my lines. Go. And his hand. So here's his thumb. 
And now we're getting to the other fingers. This one I did a little differently. move this so that you can see it all the way. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, now we're going to go for the details. First I'm going to go for the star in the middle. And you can make it look like anything you want. If you need it to look like, I don't know, if you want it to look a little more like a different shape, maybe you don't want as many points, you can do that too. You can do whatever you want. Okay, so now Going for the details here, making part of the shape of the jelly. I'm going to do the same thing over here for peanut butter. So I'm curious how many of you like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I love them, although I don't have them too, too much. But I'm curious if you do. Or what your favorite sandwich is, or if you even like sandwiches, let me know. Okay, the other thing is too, if you want to add a mustache or you want to add a hat, feel free to do that. You know, in my class, you can make things your own by adding something that's the fun part i think so look at this we have the basic shapes down we have the basic drawing down now you want to just make sure everything looks the way you want i'm looking at this and i want to fix this line because our next step is the watercolor A little better. Straighten up that line. Okay. And we're now ready for the watercolor. Okay, so I have my water, and mine is a little a little dirty because I was pre-painting this before but your water should be nice and clear. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get your watercolor. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention that I forgot to mention was you also want to have some paper towels handy to dry off your brushes. So, I've got mine here. And I even have some of my crayons from before, but I'll put those over there for now, since we're not dealing with that part yet. Okay, so first thing we want to do um, is get into our yellow. So this brush did not come with my watercolor set. It's a little bit thicker of a brush. If you have one like this, you can use it. If not, whatever comes with your watercolor set, you can just work with it. So I'm going for my yellow. And so what I wanna do is around the corners of each of the pieces of bread is a little darker. So I'm going to start with those first. 
and I'm doing both at the same time. It's a pretty quick project, I think, but it's really fun. And I didn't use a whole lot of water. See how the color is darker. I'm kind of going to outline a little bit too. And if you want it a little darker, you just go back in with your brush and you touch it. So I'm going to do an outline here. See, and I'm almost treating it like a pencil. Okay, so that's my first. And the peanut butter is a little bit yellow, so I'm going to go in with my brush and I'm making it a bit yellow. We'll go over it more with some brown. So I'm going to outline again. And now I'm going to dip my brush in water. And I'm going to fill in the rest because I want the rest to be a little lighter. And just take your time. I go a little faster because, well, I've done this project before. <laughs> and what I'm doing so that, you know, we pre-painted these spots. And I don't want there to be a line. So I just keep going over color with my brush a little bit. And if you need to add more water, you can. You don't want it to be too wet because you do want it to dry, obviously. So that's our yellow. Oops, you know what I forgot to do? I also forgot to do in the middle here. See how I'm Coloring that in almost like a brush. I mean, almost like, <laughs> use a brush. Almost like a pencil. And I'm gonna add some more yellow. Maybe a little up here, and a little at the bottom. You see how I got almost a gradient? Does anybody know what a gradient is? where your color is darker in one spot, and then it starts to fade out a bit. That's what's happening here. I didn't do that so much on the other one, but I kind of want to do it on this one. So, I'd like my corners to be a bit darker. And so now I'm going to add some brown. So first, I'm gonna do brown on the sides, right? Like a loaf of bread. And just take your time. And because of the shading, you want it to be darker here and here, so darker brown. And in the middle, not so much. I also do the arms this way. And then I go back with the crayon. You can use colored pencil too if you like. I just like the texture of the colored um, of the crayons. So I'm also going to come over here and do Jelly's part of the bread here. So I'm taking my time. I'm 
I want to add a little more brown over here. So again, I want it to be a little darker here. A little darker up here. And then a little around where his arm meets his bread body. <laughs> okay. So I'm and it's drying pretty quickly, which is good. And I'm just gonna go back and add a little more. So you see how I keep adding to get it a little darker? I just add, just go in with my brush into the watercolor. And I'm not using a whole lot of water. I didn't dip my brush in. So you're getting a lot of the color this is to make it a bit darker. See how that works? Pretty neat, right? Let me add some dark over here. And then if it's too rough trying to move your brush, you can um, dip it in the water. So I am gonna do that now because now we're gonna do the jelly part. So the jelly, is a combination of red and the purple. Doesn't seem like it, right? Because it looks pink. So I'm going to do the same thing. Get a trace around it with my red. Just take your time. You know, I think after this, I may have to have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> okay, so now what I've done is I've dipped my brush in the water. And I'm making the center part of the bread. And then I want to blend some of that color darker color that we started off with around the edges. Oops. Back here looks like some of my yellow got into that part. And now I'm going to add some purple. Right on top of the red. Isn't that neat? The way Sort of blends. And again, I like it to be a little darker in the corners. And I'm having a little splotch of color there. Go around. I'm dipping my brush in the water. And now I'm filling in a little more with the purple. Add a little more purple here. more down here. I want this a little bit darker. So see what I did was I just went in with hardly any water. dry. And we have the star. Oops. And I've decided to do red. Again, you don't have to. You 
can pick another color if you like. Maybe you want yours to be blue. Maybe you want it to be rainbow colors. That might be neat too. So I did the star red and then surrounding parts blue just for fun and then you're also going to remember to get their sort of gloved hands I did these blue if you want to keep them white you can I did it really light See that okay and now you have to wait for it to dry so maybe about five minutes because our next step will be our crayons now I am gonna fix his his eye part right here put a little some more red in here I'm going to make it a little darker here. Now I'm going to make jelly just a little bit darker. <laughs> also, I'm curious what flavor jelly you like. Do you like grape jelly? Maybe you don't like jelly. But I'm curious if you like a flavor. I mean, there's strawberry jelly, there's raspberry jelly, then there's just the grape jelly that a lot of people usually use. There's blueberry. That's the fun part of PB and J. Okay, so now we're gonna let this dry, and then our next step is going to be our crayons. So I'm gonna move my watercolor there, and let's pick out our crayons. So we want the following colors. Um, and I have a 48 set, so I have a big set, which has lots of colors. I love it. If you don't have a 48 set, that's okay. If you have a basic set um, and you won't, you don't have an, a lot of the colors, that's okay too. I just like to use a lot of color. So, as you notice, we've outlined the peanut butter and jelly in black. So you want black as one of your colors. So let's see, where did I put my black? Some of my crayons have been rolling off <laughs> my desk. What's around here somewhere? I will find it after I take this short break since this has to dry a little more. But you want black. You also want brown. You also want purple. And if you either have, you can try orange or if you have the bigger set, there is a darker yellow. This is called goldenrod. That's gonna be used for the shading for peanut butter. And then I like to use another color too. This is called just tan. Do you see that? So we've got brown, uh, purple for the jelly part. Um, your golden rod for the shading on peanut butter and another brown but they call this tan so we also have that too so pretty simple oh also I want to use red for my star actually you know what I'm gonna use orange for that one so whichever color you like um, you can do 
Okay, so we're gonna let this dry and I will be back in a few minutes. Okay, so you can either use a black colored pencil or a black crayon, either one. Um, we're gonna start off with outlining little parts of peanut butter and jelly. Um, I like to use my colored pencil because it's got a sharper point. I don't have a sharpener for my crayons, so my point is a bit dull on the black, but whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm going to start off with doing the eyes and the eyebrows. Again, if you want to add something like a mustache, feel free. Eyebrows over here. I think it'd be really funny if our sandwiches had faces. Well, I think it'd be really hard to eat them, right? <laughs> it would for me. So now I want to also trace the jelly part. As you can see, I'm not doing it really dark, just enough for the line to stick out a bit. Unless you want it to really stick out, then that's okay too. If you notice, I'm doing both of them at the same time because they're both so similar. So, you can choose to do all the lines in black, or what I like to do is when it comes to your arms, I like to do those in brown. So, same thing, if you want to use your brown crayon, you can, or if you have a brown colored pencil, you can do that too. I'm going to use my crayons. So I'm going to take my brown and I'm going to outline see how that really makes it pop I'm just taking my time here then I'm going to color a little bit See what I like about the crayons? I like the texture. I'm going to outline arm. Before I filled it in with crayon, but I think this time I'm not going to. And that's completely up to you. Do want to give it a little shading at the beginning of the arm. And then now I'm going to outline the rest in the brown. See how that makes it pop? Yeah. And then I want to add some shading in the corners. So see, I'm just sort of doing a little bit of a scribble. <laughs> and do a little bit there, but I want to use my lighter brown for that, the tan. All right, I'm going to do the same thing over here with jelly. And outlining. Taking my time. I know it looks like I'm going fast. But I am taking a bit of my time. Okay. 
and now I want to do a bit of coloring, right, on our bread part, side of the side of the bread. Do a little bit on the arms, like that. That fix this part here. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to my tan color. Actually, nope, I'm going to switch to my goldenrod color. Okay, so we've got goldenrod. And I'm going to color again a little bit in the corners. Also along the edges here. Now I am going to go back a bit with my brown because I want this to be a little bit darker. I love that texture it gives. And this one I also want to do on the inside. The peanut butter part. And then I'm going to go back with the tan to make it a little darker. So yeah, I'm just kind of sort of scribbling around. If I want a section to be darker, I just color it. Okay. Now I'm going in with my tan. And look, I layered my colors. See how there was brown over here? I went back with my tan. Looks pretty neat, right? And now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go a little darker next to the outline for the peanut butter. See what that does? See, I'm just... I'm pressing my crayon a little darker, going around each section. I like to do the same thing in the corners, make it a little darker. Here, add a little bit of shading. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for here with my tan. In the corners, just a little bit. Maybe up at the top. And then maybe a little bit over here. Sort of outlining the jelly. Okay. I'm liking it. Okay, now I want to make my star a little bit more vibrant, so I'm going to color in little parts of it, sort of outlining it first, and then I'm pressing a bit with my crayon. I think I'm going to add some of the orange to my blue parts here. I think that looks really good. And now I want to take my purple and I'm just going to lightly color a little bit 
on the jelly part with my purple crayon. See, I'm just kind of making some shading a little bit here and there. Your purple's really dark, so you want to be careful not add too much color. See how I'm doing some shading there. I'm mostly doing it in the corners and around the edges. Okay, I think I like that. I'll do a little up here. Yeah. Okay. And now I want to make I want to make this a little darker. I want it to stand out a little more. Do the same here. Um, if you like, you can also do the hands. Um, again, I like to pick colored pencil for that because the hands are kind of tough. So I went in, I have like a blue, bluish green. Now, if you don't have a bluish green, that's okay. You can just use blue or black, whatever you have. And I'm just outlining the hands to make it a little more fun. Maybe I do a little bit of coloring there. You can also use crayon too. Maybe you have a crayon sharpener. I don't, and so it's hard to get it to be pointed. Okay. And then our last step, I just put some two little shadows under here. And I do it like this. And I've taken my brown and done that. If you want, you can then go in a little bit with your goldenrod too. But that is our peanut butter and jelly duo. So I hope you like this lesson and I'm going to go have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich now. I will see you for the next lesson. Thanks, adventurers.